Wonder is the beginning of philosophy. Uh, someone read my name tag and said, hey, are you that person who found that Descartes letter quite recently? Yes, yes, <laughs> that's me. Of course, I mean, Descartes is such a great philosopher. And of course, he's a very interesting person and, and thinker. Uh, he's seen as a kind of the machine that knows everything. But in Descartes correspondence, that's where we meet, uh, I wouldn't say the real Descartes, but it's, it's there you meet the Descartes behind the published works. That puts Descartes' philosophy and, and his works in a, in a different light. In our research, we're looking for a certain kind of data, so we have to go through thousands and thousands of letters. At times, we've stumbled on things which are really, well, you stumble up, up on gold. Uh, I had done working, I was home alone, I had a beer <laughs> next to my computer and I thought, well, it's been a long time since I did my regular uh, search for Descartes and autograph letters. Then I saw the top 10 hits and I immediately noticed that number nine was new. Because, well, uh, after all those years, I know the first 50 hits by heart. All of a sudden, my screen was filled with Descartes handwriting. The librarian of Hereford College put a PDF file of the collection uh, on the internet. That letter had been missing and nobody knew where that letter had gone. It's a terrific find, it's very exciting material. In those days, if you wanted to know more about science, about philosophy, you wrote to Descartes. But nowadays, well, you, you don't have to, you can just type in your questions.